Hi, welcome to the HTML program series. Uh, today we are going to see the sample programs that may expect for your March 2023 exam. So in this we'll start with the first program. So first we'll read out the first program. Write a HTML program to accept name of the college, total number of students in the college, then total number of halls and it is given the range till hatred and it says that the data should be sent to the server so let's solve this question we'll be using notepad plus plus for completing this program first you have to make the html document structure start with your doc type tag then write the HTML root elements, then create the head section and body section. Then under head section, mention one title. Now, if you see your question, the question is asking to create a form about college details. So you'll put a title as college details then start with the heading tag again we'll give the same college details and now we'll create the form before that i'll just save this form in the name html form one dot html So that colors will come this is notepad plus plus which also recognizes what language you are using for creating the source code so let's start creating the form so in the form we have three input fields one is name of the college next is total number of students in the college and another is total number of halls now to create a form We'll start with your form tag. So immediately you also close the form tag. Then provide the label for the first input field that is name of college. And create a text box to accept that. Now to create text box, the tag used is input tag. You will write input type equal to text I'll just shift it down then provide a name for this input control we'll say college name so with this the first control is created then leave two line gap here then go to our next control which is total number of students in the college so right here give a label total number of students and create an input box for that so it will be input type equal to number since we are asking for numeric data provide a name for it stay student number then we'll also provide one value called an attribute called min equal to 1 so why we are using this min equal to 1 to specify the minimum value that the user can enter else this input type equal to number control will also accept negative numbers to avoid that we'll add this min equal to 1 then again we'll put two brs here for spacing at the same time we'll also check what the output will look like so here we can see the output two boxes are created one is text box which will accept the 
name of the college and here we have another box that will accept a numeric data so you will also get up and down arrow to scroll through the numbers okay let's get back to the code now next is next input is total number of halls now here it is specified range till 100 so here we will use the range type input control so total number of halls that will be the label for this control and we'll create it using type equal to range provide a name then we'll provide min equal to 0 and max equal to 100 as specified in the question so the question says the range should be till 100 so we are starting the range with 0 and uh, ending it with 100 so these two attributes are used min and max now the three controls are created now the next part of the question is the data should be sent to the server so you need to put one submit button then we have to use an action attribute and method attribute so i'll be writing a method equal to post and uh, we'll also provide one action attribute action attribute will contain the script residing on the server that is going to handle the form now i have created one script uh, which is on my website server that is xr.in and the name of the file is response.php so you can also use this in your practice programs the script will return whatever data you send to it the next part is put one submit button again i will leave a two line gap and i will create submit button so you have to say input type equal to submit we can also provide the face value for the submit button say i'm giving it in capital letters else it will display submit query so i want the uh, submit button should have a face value of submit written in capital letters so with this our uh, question solution is ready so see that you create a correct structure of your html document provide one title tag then if required provide one heading also then use the proper attributes like method action then you can also use a attribute called name which will provide a name to this form so here i'm just giving the value name equal to form one method post then provide action attribute and action attribute is mention any script file name then labeling then see that you provide the controls types properly then provide one name for this optionally you can also use size attribute to specify the size of the text box so all the three controls are ready then see that you put one submit button here so this is the solution for this question you can take one screenshot of this and even take a screenshot of the question so this was your question write html program to accept name of college total number of students in college and total number of halls so let's see the output final output we'll see save this file and we'll refresh it okay so this is ready i'll just put the college name and i'll write the total number of students say 250 i'll choose one value from here at present we have not uh, done extra coding for displaying the value here and we click on submit button so it will go to response.php file and this will just return whatever data you have sent to the server okay in actual exam uh, you'll be not able to 
check the code whether it is working properly or not because in the actual exam you will just get one box for writing the code we'll just show you how the actual exam uh, screen would look like so i've created one <coughs> program for doing online exam practice you can also try this by visiting the site uh, exa.in So in actual exam you will get uh, tabs for every type of question and uh, your last question will be question number 8 A and B programs. Here you will get uh, total 4 questions and you have to solve 2. So question 8A will have 2 questions out of which you have to solve 1 and question 8B again 2 questions. So this is the box that you will get and you need to type the entire program here. Okay. And you need to click on submit button. So here you cannot uh, check how whether your program is correct or wrong. Just whatever coding you know, you just type it and then save it. Thank you very much. That's all for this series. So we'll be seeing you next time with uh, another question.